We millennials are trying to be greener by lugging these reusable water bottles everywhere, but they've peaked, and now brands are tossing these bottles free to everyone all the time. How many of these do you have? I think reusable bottles might be bad for the environment, and I have questions. Three, two, one, questions! I get these bottles from conferences, residence life departments, universities, vacations, hotels, street festivals, bachelorette parties, they're everywhere. What are we doing? How is this sustainable? Green? Good for the environment? Hang on. We're using these to replace disposable plastic, which is a good thing. But if you give something away everywhere for free, then it's not valued and it becomes disposable. This SIG bottle is made of aluminum, 100% recyclable, right? Sure. But this bottle wasn't made of recycled material. Swiss law says it has to be virgin aluminum, meaning you have to mine the bauxite from tropical and subtropical regions, use massive amounts of energy to create molten cryolite and extract the aluminum with electrodes. Then they can make that into the bottle. This process requires a lot of energy. An MIT study found that creating a ton of virgin aluminum is so energy intensive, it would probably be better to just keep making things out of steel. And speaking of steel, The Swell bottle is made of stainless steel, created by a very energy intensive process using iron ore, nickel, and chromium, all of which need to be mined from the earth. Stainless steel can be recycled, but maybe not in your town. You might have to find a place that you could go take it. And are you gonna do that? If you don't, they go in a landfill forever. Look. Reusable bottles, they cost more than you think, even when they're free. If you've used them enough times, they're worthwhile because they offset the amount of carbon it takes to make them versus the disposable plastic bottles. Some of these are even recyclable depending on where you live. That said, most plastic bottles are not reusable. Hang on, come with me for a second. Bottles. There are a lot of plastics in the world. Consider your fridge. Most of these are not reusable. Condiments are bottled in plastic number one, PET. If reused, it can leach antimony and grow bacteria. Milk comes in PVC, plastic number three. Reusing these jugs can leach phthalates and cause reproductive damage. One-time use picnic and wine glasses are number six, polystyrene. They leach styrene, which ironically can cause liver damage. Strangely, plastic seven though is a catch-all. Reusable bottles are seven, but so are non-reusable water bottles. And some leach BPA, which is linked to cancer, which is why it's always better to stick to the ones designed to be cleaned and used again. So here's the deal. We all get that bottled water isn't the best, right? It's convenience and convenience isn't the problem and neither is the water inside the bottle. We actually should drink water, it's important. Important. But the plastic, the one-time use plastic, that's the problem. Because when we make new plastic, that plastic doesn't go away. It will last forever. It will last longer than your life, your kid's life. It, it basically will last forever. And we're using it one time. So don't reuse non-reusable bottles. I know it's tempting, but they are trash. That is their purpose. And that's why we should stop using them. But there are other bottles that make you feel good, but they might not actually feel good for Mama Earth. The reusable water bottle market is set to hit $10.5 billion by 2025, and I'm guilty of buying reusable cheap plastic things for one-time use, and I'm sure you are too, but here's the deal. If you run an organization or event, don't give away free plastic stuff, especially not water bottles. You're giving away a thing that's only good if it's reused and you're doing it as if it's a disposable product. When companies give these away to project sustainability and caring, that's frankly, earmuffs kids, earmuffs, bullshit. Getting reusable bottles might seem harmless, especially if you recycle, but not creating the bottles in the first place is even better than recycling. Remember reduce and reuse? It's not capitalism friendly, but it's part of the triangle. It's also way better than get your free recyclable water bottle here. It's basically, hey, you wanna throw this away for me later? If you wanna buy a bottle, get recycled aluminum or glass, which is heavier to transport, but super recyclable. Quick sidebar, our nerd fam is pretty smart, so I probably don't have to say this, but most bottled water isn't even healthier or better for you. It's just tap water. My Trader Joe's water is from Los Angeles and Napa. Coca-Cola's Dasani and Pepsi's Aquafina and Nestle's Pure Life and Glisseau's Smart Water are all literally retreated 
local municipal tap water. To be honest, the best thing you can do is have a recycled aluminum bottle at work or at home or a glass jar, but avoid plastics. If you already have them, reuse them or recycle them. And don't reuse things that aren't supposed to be reused, no matter how good it makes you feel inside. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, nerd fam. I really appreciate it. Do me a favor before you go, share this jam. Okay, look, so the problem isn't Okay, look. So the problem. Okay, so the pro the problem isn't. So time that you needed a drink. I get these bottles from conferences. <laughs>